Hello friends, good morning to all of you. And how's the jaws? Hi sir. Yes, so I am coming with such a great informative video for you how I place this in Linda Engineering. But before that, I am going to give some tips. Which company you have to select according to your interest. And before going in that company stays or any interview, you have to deep study on it, understand the company, it is suited for you or not. Okay, so these things you have to do as per my knowledge. Okay, so now coming on this company interview. Hey, you think that why I am the right person? Okay, so for that, I am going to give some of these things. You can see this is my offer letter first snap. This is my name, Mir Panchal, and I am appointed for training engineer from my B college. So that's why I am the right person to talk about these topics and suit for you. Okay. So now come on this company. So this, if I talk about me, so this company arrived in our on-campus placement in our college, which name is LD College of Engineering, as you know, in India. So they firstly have a, they have some criteria that above 60 percentage your marks or above no have any backlogs you are good enough in your study so my humble request you that you should do that and <laughs> you should select in any placement time so that will not any obstacles for you okay so after that we have filled that form and the company arrived nearly on this date firstly they give the idea about the company what they are going to do which things from there is place and which field they are going to work. So this is the pure engineering company, okay, which is LEI, Linde Engineering India. So they, after that, they are conducted our test. So selection procedure, if I talk about, so they have a two criteria. First is online test. So if I talk about my college, there are 100 people who are in this test and they only selected 10 persons. So you understand that what is the importance of this online test and after that personal interview HR plus technical which is in company or the right self okay so you should understand these things so now coming on online test okay so there is two sections first is technical and for second is aptitude you all know about it okay so if I talk about my case, so there are they have asked us in a, uh, this written test, there is a 50 questions and mostly they have asked 40 which are technical and aptitude which are 10. So they give us uh, proper time like one an hour. So we have done this and there is a, such a great criteria which is negative marking. And if you don't know about that answers of that question, so please don't write it. Otherwise, your marks will cut. This is a, my humble appeal to you that not uh, not go with that questions. Okay. Other and in because this is criteria different for different companies. So if you have no negative marking, so I hundred percent is sure you have to do that. Okay. Okay, now coming on technical sections. So there are lots of subjects. They have mostly asked for questions from these 40 questions. Okay, so these are the subjects you should know about it. So I am coming from descending order. So firstly is basic engineering. We understood basic engineering question means real life problems. Why these things? These are for all mechanical, yes? So basic engineering means whatever around you. There are some engineering things like if I talk about in our home, there are lots of taps and that. So how that flu, flu, flow, fluid flow going occur. So that is also one criteria they have asked us. Now coming on manufacturing. Manufacturing is a wild things. So they can ask any things like castings, forming, forging, welding. But in our case, they have asked one question, uh, one or two questions related to welding which type of welding is useful for this and how it is efficiency, which type of joint it is. So they mostly ask from practical aspects, which is used in that company. Okay. So you have to understand their things. Now coming on material science. 
in any company when we are going to select any materials this is a too much important subject consideration of material science material science they have asked us related to ss stainless steel cast iron okay so iron and iron carbon diagram is too much important for any industries who, who are working in this field so corrosion hardness strength basic details basic mechanical properties we have to understand that and according to use we have to make alloy of it so these things they have asked strength of materials yeah this is too much fundamental when we are dealing after selecting that materials we have to measure the strength so according to step by steps they are going to ask according to the company's questions so in any company you are going with it they ask related to their company's product okay so you have to understood these first things just strength of materials stress strand what is the importance of it what is the allowable design factor allowable factor of safety all these things they have involved and come on machine design designing is too much important in engineering so what is the aesthetic ergonomics view and uh, which things to improve their properties what you can do for preventing your product in design so preservation screw all types joint knuckle joint okay so these things they have asked related to something little bit and come on thermodynamics thermodynamics is also useful uh, in this industry so they have asked majorly questions from related to cycles different cycles like Carnot cycle Rankine cycles Brayton cycles related to uh, refrigeration cycle which is daily use okay so heat transfer okay heat transfer in majorly they have asked about heat exchangers which type of heat exchanger used in which condition uh, which has a higher efficiency counter flow type or parallel flow type so all these things you have to understand uh, this is not rocket science you have to understand the basic concepts this is the only one things I want to tell in these things okay now coming on aptitude sections so if I talk about aptitude sections there are uh, logical and verbal reasoning so if you have follow India Big app or IS Agarwal maybe so that is the very fundamental things they have mentioned related to logical and verbal reasoning so if you do that so you will be not uh, suffer any issue okay so this is I want to tell you about this and coming on interview so yes so HR questions and technical questions okay so HR questions and technical questions so in majorly in HR question they have mentioned that talk your about talk about yourself are you planning for further studies if yes or not what is your goal what you want to achieve which place you want to do work in this company what you want to do much more efforts if you are uh, if you have given a one task and uh, you have to stay here in this company so are you able to do that so these type of questions they have asked related to your hobbies your works and your what is your ongoing in your mind so you should keep uh, keep ready for this type of questions answers and come on technical questions so this whole these things technical questions are according to the companies and if I talk about Linde engineering, so Linde engineering mostly are designing fields which are making the plants or like that. So they are mostly uh, give engineering drawing. We have good idea about isometric orthographic view of that anything. And yes, pump, compressor difference, thermodynamics, basic thermodynamics cycles like uh, Brayton cycles, Carnot and Rankine cycles in thermal power plant okay so these things which i want to tell you and according to that strength of materials there are lots of uh, endurance strength what is the material strength stress strength diagram all these things they can ask you so you should prepare your basic fundamentals should be clear otherwise you are stuck there okay and uh, if i talk about another subject like pump npsh this is the one major question you should be ready for this npsh pump Compressor, what is the use of it? They mention daily routine or life's questions. Okay, and your resume should be ready according to it. And whatever you are writing in your resume, you should be clear about it. You have a deep knowledge about it, and you are ready to going to answer it. Okay, 
and uh, yes these things also yeah all these things you have to do this and now coming on this is the one fundamental things which i have mentioned here you can see here mostly they ask from your resume so try to be honest when you are making that and if you don't know answer it so please say no otherwise they will go on deep in it and you are going to stop so i don't need like that and your basic concepts will be clear so all the best to all of you and still if you if you have any queries so you can contact me on this numbers and i hope you will be there in according to your suitable company so this is the one kind of help so if you like then please like it thank you friends